Welcome to my garden. Do you want to learn how to make your own field study art kit for this summer? A really fun craft. So I have these. I made this with a stencil. The stencil I used was this one right here. And I just used... And what I do is I just take the stencil and put it over. You can see the, the difference. And then I just move it around. I use a stencil brush. So these are some of the stencil brushes that I have. And they're a very stiff brush. What I like to do is I made this one with the liquid acrylics and these are them it's a golden fluid liquid acrylic and this one what i did is i used the black and then you can make a brown or you know do any of your own colors or just use a straight color such as this one this is what they look like when they're not stenciled and it has a zipper I got these at Hobby Lobby, but you can also order them through my Etsy site. And I put all the information down below. You could call me and just contact me through my email or my phone number, and I could make a customized one. I've been making a lot of the customized ones where I put a name on here in lettering or calligraphy. So I always try to have something like a paper plate and then I just put the paint on there. And what I like about the liquid acrylic is that if you use the tube acrylic and it's a little too creamy, and if you're not real familiar with using stencils, then if you either put too much water then and then you put the brush on there with the stencil the paint tends to bleed underneath the stencil. And then if you use the creamy tube acrylic and you don't put enough water, then it oozes and it creams under the stencil. So the consistency of the golden fluid acrylic is perfect when you're doing stenciling. I wanted to show you just a few things that you could do to put in the kit and these are waterproof. So this one, for instance, and they're all made and by EarthSkyWater.net. I've ordered all these throughout, and it's for all of North America, and they're all waterproof. So this one is Common Bees of Western Washington. And you can go on a study and just identify all the common bees and all the different characteristics. This one has common caterpillars of Western North America. So there's moths and there's butterflies and they tell you all the different characteristics. Now there's also butterflies that are characteristic of different parts of our country. So I have, such as this one, I have common butterflies of Texas. I live in the Pacific Northwest. So there's butterflies that are characteristically found in the Pacific Northwest with the kind of climate we have and the type of vegetation and flora and fauna that we have. What you could do in your kit, and it's great, you could order these. These are a Winsor & Newton little watercolor kit. Comes with its own brush. Hobby Lobby makes one the same size, and it's a lot less expensive than the Winsor & Newton one. But yet the Winsor & Newton one, I feel, is a much better quality. It's easier to work with. But if you want to keep your costs down, you can get one from... Hobby Lobby, but it just fits right in here like that. And you could put it over your 
shoulder like this and and see how it just fits like this and it's great then you have your hands free while you're doing studies another thing i like to do is i have a it comes with a pocket guide and this one it's for mixing color And you can also do little studies right here to understand color. This also tells you about a grayscale. It tells you all about value and hue and intensity of color. What's also great when you want to do a field study is you want to make it as easy as possible. So these are watercolor pencils that come with a kit that I sell on Etsy, or you could get your own watercolor pencils. They fit right in very easily in the kit, like this. It's how easy that fits. Another thing is I have these little journals, and they come in different colors, and you can also get your own. These little journals are very small, and they fit in the little kit like this and it has watercolor paper in there you can also do pencil on there another thing that's great to have are these are a paintbrush and they're different sizes it has a lid to protect it but see the different sizes. So you have your small, your medium, and your large. And what's great about this, you untwist it and you put the water in there and then you just squeeze it. I've also made up a little solution of watercolor paint and put it in there. But ideally, I like to just put water in there. And it's easier if you push right here and right there it even says, you know, push <laughs> on this part. And then you squeeze the water out and you could use your watercolor or your watercolor brush. One of the things when I'm stenciling, um, you can also use something where if you want to personalize and there's these stencils that have like these, and I got these at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them at any of the craft stores. And what's nice is they stick on and you can just stick on like this and then use your stencil brush and then just brush it. These are also, you can find these, I found these, these are playing cards and they're birds of the Northwest. There's also some great small little ID identification books that are about the size of this little journal. But these are great. You can order any from your state or region. So the company, it's based on Stan Tequila. It's T-E-K-I-E-L-A. And I'll just show you that but you could order for your region and it has a identification if you want to understand how to ID birds, but then also use it as a playing card. So that's Bewick's Wren. And like a house finch. So these are just some fun ways to do something for a summer craft, but it's also 
you're learning. You could do this with your children, with your grandchildren, with your nieces and nephews. It's a really fun way to learn. And those of you who teach a summer school program, it's great for you as a teacher. Another thing that's really great is I have, it's a pencil, it's a general's pencil and it's a scribe all and it's white <clears throat> and black and it comes with its own little sharpener. So those are a few things that you could do. I also, and I have it in another YouTube video that I did, but I made this bag here and it's 100% cotton as, and these are also 100% cotton. So when you're painting on these, it's a lot different than when you're painting on paper, like watercolor paper or a gessoed canvas. If you look at the, what I did here is I used the scribe all pencil. It's a black one. And it's also a, like a watercolor pencil. And then I just used only three colors. And these are the colors I used. I use the yellow, I use Hansa yellow opaque, the liquid, the liquid fluid acrylic. And this one I used cerulean blue deep. And I use zinc white, just those three colors. And that's what I made from here. And I did the scribal pencil, drew this all out, and then I painted the cerulean blue in here. And because the canvas, it holds the moisture a little bit longer, it makes it more workable with the fluid acrylics. And then I put the white over the blue, and that's the look I got here. And then here, I tried out, I just wanted to experiment. So this one, I did the blue first for the green stem and the green leaves. And then I immediately went over and did the yellow while it was white, while it was still wet. And then it blended and it made green. Where this one, I thought I would experiment and I would do the yellow first, right in here. And then I would go over and do the blue but you could see the difference. So I just thought I'd show you that. So this is a great bag for, you know, going to the lake or the river or the beach. And it's huge. You could put like beach towels and it has these two pockets right here. And I also got this from Hobby Lobby. And then this is canvas right here. So just a fun project and just contact me if there's anything that you would like me to do for you or you want to ask me any questions or learn more I put all my contact information down before down below and you can just contact me so thank you for joining me